I'd like to introduce Keith Bigelow, the General Manager and SVP of Analytics and Artificial Intelligence from GE Healthcare to the stage. Thanks, Keith. Good morning, I'm Keith Bigelow with GE Healthcare. For those of you who don't know, we're headquartered right here in Chicago. We're about $19 billion a year in revenue, $3 billion in profit. And we do that by building the best medical devices in the world. And today I want to talk to you about why we are all in on artificial intelligence. And to do that, I'm going to tell you a story. Imagine this evening around 5 o'clock, I'm leaving the summit and I'm in a car wreck. Now, Bernie's company is going to come tow my car away because you can see the airbags deployed. He didn't mention an ambulance, but if the airbags come out, an ambulance is coming to pick me up and bring me to the local emergency room. When I get to the emergency room, they're going to perform a CT scan to try and understand my soft tissue injuries and any fractures that I have. Then they'll sew me all up after they've done a great surgery. And assuming everything goes really well, their team is going to do one last check. And that check is to take an x-ray. And this is a quality control measure that we do. And the purpose is to say, are there any remaining critical conditions? If not, and Keith is all better, well, then they'll wheel me off to post-op. But if there's something wrong, they're going to detect it. And then they'll go back to the emergency room table. They'll address it and send me on my way to post-op afterwards. Well, if I'm taken to Rush University Medical Center, it's here in Chicago, it's one of the best, it's a level one trauma center, I know they know how to read that x-ray. They're going to determine exactly my mental and physical state and figure out if they need to do any final touches on my surgery or roll me out. But not every hospital is as good as Rush and Dr. Rob and the team there. So imagine I'm in a rural hospital here in the United States or somewhere else. Well, here in Chicago, there are 400 radiologists for 2.7 million of you in the population. In Kenya, there are 48 million people and 200 radiologists. So radiology is scarce. So if I'm in a rural area, I need to be a little bit worried. Number two, x-rays are the highest volume of all scans performed. So that means there's a little bit of mundaneness to x-rays, as well as they're the lowest reimbursed scans of any scan done. Which brings me to the third column here, which is that the, the x-ray is going to be read last. My CT, when I was rolled into ER, it's read immediately. An MR, read same day. But not the x-ray in all cases. If the x-ray is read on that day, it's probably read, because it's nighttime, remember I'm just leaving here tonight, by an intern. And an intern is going to see this. Now, it's 9, 10 o'clock at night, they've been working 12, 16, 18 hours, they're looking at this scan, trying to figure out, oof, does he have a critical condition? I don't want to crash in post-op six hours from now, which would be three in the morning, when nobody is around. I want someone to know whether or not I have a critical condition right now. And this is the perfect use case for artificial intelligence. So what artificial intelligence can do for us, first, is detect, is there a critical condition? Second, it can localize it and tell me exactly where it is. And third, it can quantify it and say just how severe it is. So is this urgent and I need to be raced back to the table? Or is this minor and we just need to notify the care team? Now, what's really interesting about this is that this algorithm will exist on all our devices. So it's going to serve everyone in every rural community, in Kenya, in Asia, everywhere. How did we do it? So we partner with great hospitals to gain access to data and use cases that are really important for us to be able to embed in our equipment and in our software. And we take that de-identified data and we ingest it into our health cloud. Our health cloud, we started about four years ago with Amazon's help, 
And we've been building and building on top of it ever since. So we take that de-identified data and we ingest it into our platform where we catalog it until we have enough diverse data from Chicago, from California, from Canada, from Europe, from Africa, the Mideast and Asia, so that we know we have a great data set to build our model. Then we open up Jupiter and we begin to invite data scientists, we invite radiologists to begin work on curating that data so that we know exactly the medical condition that we're searching for and identifying it in our training set. Then, and only after we have a normalized data set, do we bring it into SageMaker. And in SageMaker, we can train our model, tune it, tune it, tune it, until finally we have a great, highly precise model. And when we have that, we can deploy it. Thanks to SageMaker's container, we can deploy it to the cloud, so algorithm as a service. So maybe somebody is out in a remote region, they upload the scan of my chest x-ray, and they get back a result. Or we can deploy it to our software on the edge. So we have an edge device. This could be running our PACS, for example, which is where radiologists work every day. And the inferencing could occur there. And finally, we can deploy it to the device, so on the x-ray device. So we get real-time feedback from the device at the point of care. And all of this is possible because of this pipeline with SageMaker. Now, you might ask, well, why SageMaker? You guys have been doing machine learning for 25 years. You have the best medical equipment in the world. Well, the answer is we don't want just one algorithm. We want tens of thousands of algorithms. So what we chose SageMaker for was scale. Because what SageMaker allows us to do is have a HIPAA-compliant storage of petabytes of data from around the world. And it allows us to invite all our data scientists, all our radiologists, to work communally across continental divide to curate and prepare that data and make sure that it is a great ground truth. In fact, for a single piece of data, a single scan, we'll often have it read many times so that we have ground truth and we know exactly that this data is perfect and the interpretation of it is spot on. When we bring it into SageMaker, our, our data scientists are thrilled. And the reason is, is they hate waiting. So what they can do is spawn in parallel 10 or more experiments with different model frameworks like TensorFlow or MXNet and evaluate the performance of each of those. And then as they winnow down on a couple of models that look like the best ones, they can flip from a P1 instance, which will take us six or seven days to do this kind of inferencing, to a P3, which will take hours. And then finally, we take that SageMaker container and we can deploy it. Maybe I didn't mention this. We ship tens of thousands of medical devices a year. And we need to be able to deploy these models to Windows, to Linux, to CPUs, to GPUs. Uh, we need to be able to deploy these models regardless of the footprint of our device and regardless of the model framework that our data scientists chose for that particular use case. So scale is crucial to us. There's one non-functional reason that we chose SageMaker as well that I want to share. And that is the product manager for SageMaker. His name is Kumar. And throughout our journey of building out the health cloud and building out this AI pipeline, Kumar has been an amazing partner for us to realize our vision of intelligent health. So, Spoiler alert, I'm going to survive my wreck tonight. The care team's going to be alerted to my issues. They're going to treat them. The quality of healthcare in the United States in Chicago is going up because of artificial intelligence. And access to quality healthcare will not just be for the rich. We are going to make this pervasively available in all 120 countries that we serve. And finally, errors are going to reduce, which means that costs are going to come down. And this is really crucial. So we at GE Healthcare, our, our purpose is to improve lives in moments that matter. And SageMaker and AI is going to make that possible. Thank you.